for the last six or seven years I've been worried about attacks over IPv6, and here they come. Hey Jim, uh, we talk about DDoS attacks all the time and it sounds like you're looking into uh, a DDoS attack over a protocol we don't normally see it happen over. I, I've been wondering how long it was going to take, but it's finally happened. Uh, Newstar reported that they detected the, the first true native DDoS attack over IPv6. You know, we, we've talked about IPv6 for a number of years, and there's growing percentage of the traffic on the internet is actually using IPv6. Well, most people are familiar with IPv4. It's a routing protocol for the internet that's based on four octets. And uh, what they realize is that address space, it's not that big. So many, many years ago, they developed IPv6, which is a much larger address space. With an IPv4, uh, DDoS attack. We have mechanisms. We know how to, to some extent, how to deal with them. Obviously, you need to deal with them upstream from where the victim actually is. But the question is, you know, do our defenses work as well for IPv6? In the IPv4 world, you could do things like creating block lists, you know, that you would run in your, your state tables. But now with the with how much space we're talking about in IPv6, that's no longer going to be an option for us. It's, it's an issue that I've been worrying about for six or seven years, actually, is with IPv6 coming, how, how well prepared are we for actually handling when the bad guys start moving their attacks over to IPv6? Yeah, yeah. I know most major websites are using IPv6 and a lot of consumer ISPs have been adopting it as well. Like you said, the ability to just ride an attack over IPv6, that might be missed by some players. Right. There are issues that I don't think we've really spent enough time talking about. I, some people, I'm sure, have been thinking about this for a long time, but you know, I haven't heard a lot of public discussion on, on how we deal with some of that. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that kind of worries me, and I don't, I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that when people really start adopting IPv6 in consumer spaces, that they don't throw away their firewalls in the process, because they have all this address space that they can assign to all their devices. Please do not throw away your firewalls. Please still net. Have something going on, because I, I worry that you know it's going to expose everybody's equipment inside their houses to the internet at large. And that we know how that gets, right? Yeah, e even if you're not netting all of the devices, don't allow inbound traffic to all of your devices. Right. We know DDoS attacks have not, you know, abated. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still a lot of actors out there using that as a means to get their message across, even if it's just for a moment. So being prepared for IPv6 based ones is something to be, be wary of and be prepared for. It's a tough one. It's a tough, I think it's one that we're going to have to consider and do some more research on in terms of what are the defensive measures that we're going to be able to put in place for IPv6? So I think people should pay close attention to what they're revealing on the internet or what services are being exposed to the internet for their IPv6 infrastructure and make sure they're not exposing something they shouldn't be that could be compromised. <laughs>